Hello aspirants, welcome to India for IAS. This is Manjunath Mudol. In this video, we are going to study about PM Vishwakarma scheme. The scheme was in use recently because as per the skill ministry, 21.15 lakh applications were received under PM Vishwakarma scheme. Coming to the brief background of the scheme, the scheme was announced during the 77th Independence Day by Prime Minister Modi and it was launched on 17th September 2023 on the occasion of Vishwakarma Jayanti. Moving on to the objectives of the PM Vishwakarma scheme, the scheme intends to uplift the traditional artisans and craft people who are engaged in various craft activities and it intends to preserve the cultural heritage and in integrating the artisans and craft people into the formal economy and global value chain. So these are the objectives of the PM Vishwakarma scheme. Coming to the coverage of trades, in the first instance the scheme aims to cover 18 trades. The 18 trades are mentioned here. So I will read out the few, carpenter, boat maker, armor, so on. Moving on to the salient features of the scheme. The scheme is central sector scheme. It means fully funded by government of India. There is no contribution from the states. So if it is centrally sponsored scheme, then there is a contribution from states also. So if it is central, centrally sponsored, scheme, then there will be a contribution from both center and states. So the nodal in ministry for the implementation of the scheme is Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. This is the nodal ministry for the implementation of the scheme. The beneficiary artisans and crafts people are recognized through PM's Vishwakarma certificate and an ID card. There will be a basic training of 5 to 7 days and an advanced training of 15 days or more with a stipend of 500 rupees per day. In addition to this, in order to increase their productivity and efficiency, a toolkit incentive of 15,000 rupees in the form of e-voucher will be provided to beneficiaries. There is a mechanism of credit support for the eligible beneficiaries. So the credit support is of two stage. In the first stage, up to 1 lakh rupees will be provided for 18 months tenure at the consistent interest rate of 5%. In the second stage, uh, 2 lakh rupees up to 30 months tenure at the concessional interest rate of 5% will be provided. In order to reach the products to the wider market area, the marketing support is also provided to the beneficiaries. So the National Committee for Marketing provides various marketing services uh, like quality certification, branding and promotion, e-commerce linkage, trade fair advertising, publicity and other marketing activities. So in newspaper, you might have read Suraj Kund Mela. So go through newspaper. So search about Suraj Kund Mela. What is it? Then also search about Amazon Karigar Yojana. So what are these? How the artisans and craft people are getting benefited by Amazon Karigar scheme. Moving on to the eligibility conditions. The artisan or craftsman should be working with hands or tools, not with machines or any equipments, and they should be engaged in unorganized sector or self-employment basis, and should be engaged in any one of the 18 family-based traditional trades as mentioned in the scheme. The minimum age of the applicant should be 18 years, and he should be engaged in concerned trade on the date of registration and he should not be the beneficiary of any of one of the government schemes like PM EGP, PM Swanidhi, Mudra scheme in the past five years. The benefits of the scheme are restricted to one member per family. The significance of the schemes are multidimensional like artisans and crafts people are integrated into domestic and global value chain from their smaller market area and this can enhance their market access and create broader opportunities for the artisans and it will help in preserving the India's 
rich cultural heritage in traditional facts. So further it helps in transitioning into the formal economy to the artisan and craftsman and facilitate it into global value chain. Thank you for watching. We will come up with one more interesting topic in the next video.